Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Minoan Greek uh, octopus pottery vase. In the center, right at the top, I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line up, come back to the dot, to the right, straight line, curve line up on the right. Come back to the left, and I'm just going to draw a little straight diagonal down, come on the right, little straight diagonal down. Come back to the left, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down big curve line all the way down stop right about there come back up to the right I'm gonna draw a curve line down slightly curved line big curve line all the way down and connect now right over here two fingers in I'm gonna put a dot and from that dot I'm gonna draw a curve line down then I go back to the dot and I'm going to draw a curve line in, big curve line out, curve line, curve line out, bring it up, in, curve line, and leave those floating. Right here I'm going to draw one flat oval and then I draw another flat oval and in the center I draw two straight lines. Okay. Right here at the top, I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line up, jump over, wavy, wavy line down, wavy line up, curl it, wavy, wavy line down, wavy line out, come back in, wavy line out, come back in, wavy line out, Come back in. Now I gotta count. One, two, three, four. So I gotta do four more legs. It is an octopus. Wavy line down off the page. Bring it back up. So that's five, six, seven off the page. Bring it back up. And eight. Bring it back in. Connect. Now, on this top line, I do curve line, curve line, keep going all the way in. On this one, I go curve line, curve line, all the way down and in. Come on this side, little curve lines. Come in, little curve lines. Come in, little curve lines right here see we're following around in like a circle curve lines let's do these curve lines little curve lines and now we'll do these curve lines lots of curve lines okay now you come inside and you put a little dot inside each one of those now I know this will make you crazy so I want you to take your time I also know that if I don't draw all the little dots right this moment, some of you will stop exactly where I stop. So I have learned my lesson that if I say do something, I have to do it too. So even though it's taking me a little bit longer than I would like, I'm going to put those little dots inside each one of these little curved lines because it really makes a difference with your design. Okay, now I come up to the left and I'm just going to draw an oval on the left, come on the right, oval on the right. Now, wherever you have room, and all of us are going to have different spaces because we all draw differently, we're going to just draw some wiggle waggles, up, down, up, downs, and fill in the space. Like right here I have room, up, down, up, down over here fill in this space 
I'm trying not to do my legs. I can fill one in here and maybe that's it. Little one here. Okay. All right. Now, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I'm going to double color my octopus. So the first color, you always go light to dark. So the first color I used was red violet. So I'm going to do all my legs, red violet, first color. Lots of legs. Then I'm going to take black. Now don't go crazy with the black. You're just going to lightly color over the red violet, but you don't want to color so dark you can't see the red violet. We want the red violet to show. So, but we want it also to be a little bit darker. So we're going to use black and go over everything we just did red violet. And some of you go crazy and the next thing you know you've got a black octopus, which is okay, but we're kind of trying to go with a little more color. Okay. Then I take my brown and my little squiggle squabbles. I'm going to fill these in brown. And that just gives us another pop of color. And then if you have it, if you don't, leave it alone. But if you have beige, peach, apricot, tan, I'm just going to go over the white part of the pottery and give it a creamy base color. Oops, I forgot that. If you don't have that, this should be brown. If you don't have that color, no big deal, just leave it white. Okay? All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my Minoan Greek art octopus pottery all colored in. This is a real famous image and it's from ancient times. Okay, bye-bye.